Good morning everyone. Welcome to dumbbell workout today. Uh, dumbbell or kettlebells, whatever you've got to hand. Um, back in the beanie and the hoodie because it's cold again. So, all you need for today's workout, morning, is a set of dumbbells or a set of kettlebells. Kettlebells. Got the dumbbells. Need a little bit of space, a yoga mat if you have one, it's not essential but it just offers a bit of cushioning for anything we're doing on the floor. So, again if you've seen the workouts before, uh, you know I like to do it, I like to do a couple of round type moves, I like to have tabs are chucked in the middle, it's all like a interval style of training. Um, I start off with like a five, six minute just body weight warm up, get the heart elevated, get the muscles warmed up. So, give it another minute, give everyone else who's watching live chance to join in, get ready, get set up. So like I said, all you need is a bit of space, dumbbells, kettlebells, a bit of water, maybe a sweat towel, gym towel, and that'll be about it. How is everyone this morning? Very cold again. Oh, I should probably say happy birthday to my partner Natalie. It's her birthday today. Can't remember how old she is. Probably best not to mention that anyway. She's getting on a bit now. Right, 30 more seconds and we'll get going. Right, so, we shall begin. All right, like I said, five minute warm up to start with, five, six minute warm up, and then we'll get into the main workout, okay? so. Start the timer. So we slide. I like to start my warm up with like a little mini circuit. Okay. So we're going to start with jogging on the spot, nice and light on your toes. You can shuffle backwards and forwards if you want. If you've got space, if you don't, stay still. Again, nothing too strenuous. It's just the warm up, right? And then from here, we're going to go into some forward lunges. On my count, in three, two, one. Nice long strides. Again, you know, there's no real effort involved in this one, right? You are just preparing your body. From here, we're going to go into some high kicks. So, I like to do a little shuffle at the bottom. High kick, shuffle, high kick. You don't have to, you can just do one leg at a time if you like. I like the little movement. Gets you in a little rhythm. From here, we're going to go into some alternating toe touches. So, spread your feet nice and wide, soft bend in your knees. You're going to touch your left hand to your right toe, and vice versa. this time. So I'd like to start off with about 30 seconds of each move to start with in the first round. Second round, 15 seconds of each. And let's go lunges. And 
and high kicks. You want to do one longer? Not as mobile and a bit slower than normal. I went on a very long run yesterday. Knees a bit sore. Right, and then we are alternating toe touches again, okay? Sip of water if you need. We're going to start with some arm circles, start again with some arm circles. Ten forwards. And ten backwards. Hugs, wrap your arms around your left over right, right over left, whichever order you want to do it in. Squeezing the shoulder blades together at the back, opening the chest up. Again, about 10 of these. Once you've done 10 of those, now you're going to relax your shoulders, hands down by side, and you're just going to do some neck rotations. Now be careful with this one. Whenever you're warming up the neck, doing anything with your neck just be careful so start with your chin to your chest down and all the way around and we only want about five on each in each direction on this one and the other way and then all you're going to do is look straight forward Flash shoulders still, and just look over your left shoulder, to the right, to the left, and to the right. Right, now we're down on the ground for this next one. So, feet planted on the ground, heels on the ground, about 45 degree bend in your knees, straight forward, looking straight forward, arms slightly behind you, and you're just going to drop your knees down to one side, keeping your chest as forward as you can, or facing forward as you can. Again, we just want maybe six on each today. Don't know, you can see I, might, I was leaning a little bit too far back there, so don't lean too far back. And then once you've done the six on each side, that's it, that'll do for the warm up today. So that's five and a half minutes. It's a little mini circuit. A few different uh, upper body warm ups. So, I'll give you a minute. Take a sip of water, get yourself ready. Like I said, you don't need much, just your bit of space. Set of dumbbells, set of kettlebells. Uh, dumbbells, ideally, well, dumbbells need to be the same weight because we've got some double handed moves. If you've only got one, like one kettlebell, you can still do the moves one-handed, all right? So don't be put off if you don't have both, because some of the moves we've got are um, single-handed moves anyway. All right, so, so the first two moves we've got are round time. 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, uh, three, four rounds, all right? The first one we've got, the sumo squat front raise. Okay, so I'm going to use my dumbbells for this one. You want your feet nice and wide. You want a soft bend in your knees so you don't have to lock them out. Your dumbbells are going to be in front of you. Okay, so as you're coming up, you're going to raise the dumbbells up. Okay, so it's, it's all it's a bit like a swing, but there's less swinging involved, more controlled movement. So rather than leaning your shoulders forward and swinging the dumbbells up, you're squatting down and then raising the dumbbells up. Okay, see it from the side. Nice wide stance, it's got to be like uh, wider than hip width apart. So you're going down, squatting down, keeping your back straight as possible. Okay. 
Everyone got that? So, let the timer go round. Let's have a jump off and warm already. Got a nice bright t-shirt on again. Right, 15 seconds and it's sumo squat to front raise. 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, and we're doing three rounds of this, okay? So, you ready? Wide stance, squat down, dumbbells up. And down we go. Now raise them up. Now set your own speed. You can do it fast, you can do it slow. Do it slow and control the movement. Or you can do it fast and really pump out the reps. It's up to you. If you want, you can just keep the thumbs in the same direction. But I like my thumbs facing away and then together at the top. And rest, that's the first round done. I'll tell you what, we might do four rounds of these, right? So now we've got a 30 second rest period. Yeah, we'll do four rounds, do four rounds. Fairly simple, easy move to get you into it. Right, feet stance nice and wide, heels on the ground, dumbbells up. And down we go for round two. Pick a weight that you find comfortable as well. You don't want to be really, really struggling to complete the 30 seconds. You also don't want to be doing it too easy. You've only got the one dumbbell or the one kettlebell. Just do it with one. Two. One, and rest. Next one I'll show you the set of kettlebells. Same move, I'll just give you an example with the kettlebells instead of the dumbbells. All right, get ready. In position, grab the kettlebells, dumbbells. And squat down and raise up, let's go. And I'll show you from the side of that. So like I said, it's almost like a swing, but it's more controlled. You're not you're not leaning forwards and swinging, squatting down, raising the back. Three, two. Okay, we'll do one more round of these. So one more rest period, one more round. Last round. Right, there's no miles out. And down we go, last 30 seconds. dumbbells on the floor because I'm on a padded mat and there's no one living below me. So, so if you are in a flat be mindful, don't check your dumbbells down like I did. Right, next move. Again, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. We're going to do four rounds, right? We're going to do a dumbbell snatch, but we're just going to, last week I did like alternating arms, so this week we're just going to do one arm at a time. 30 seconds switch arms that's why there's four rounds so both arm gets two rounds each all right so with this one all you're doing you've got your dumbbell on your floor in between your legs your feet are slightly wider than hip width apart yeah you're, again you're squatting down don't bend down don't lean forward squat down and you're bringing the dumbbell up 
straight above your head in a fast movement. Up. Okay, let's see it from the side. Swap that and up. So we're just going to do 30 seconds of each. Now, sorry, on each side. You can do this with the kettlebell as well. Kettlebell's slightly different. As you're bringing it up to this like high pull section here, you need to flip it round and push it at the top. So it's this little flip and push where you continue to push the, dunk, uh, the kettlebell up, it stops it hitting the back of your hand so much. So if you just flip it, that's going to bang back your ribs and then push it. But right, you want to try and do it in a smooth motion. Has everyone got that? That's if you've got kettlebells, if you don't have a dumbbell. So what I'll do is I'll do 30 seconds each side with a dumbbell, and then I'll do the second two rounds with a kettlebell so you can see. So, kettlebell in front of you, in between your legs. 15 more seconds, right arm, I'm going to start with my right arm. We're going to do 30 seconds, just solidly with the right arm. Then we'll have a 30 second break, and then 30 seconds on the left arm. Are you ready? Get down, grab your left dumbbell, and up we go. Want a bit of speed involved in this. So for me, these dumbbells are a good weight for the last move. A little bit too light for this one. But for the purposes of showing you the exercise, it's fine. So nice straight back, chest out proud. Don't lean forwards or roll your shoulders forwards when you come back down. And two, one and rest. So we'll have 30 seconds rest and then we'll switch hands. Just gonna turn the music up a little bit. Right, so I'm onto my left arm. Heels planted firmly on the ground, slightly wide and hip width apart. Down we go. Ah, let's go. I'll keep the other arm out, just for help with balance. There's no reason to have it out there in any. Yeah. Whatever works for you. You can do it like that, do it like that, you yeah. know? Especially with a heavier weight. It's good to use your other arm for balance. So 30 seconds rest, we're going to go back onto the right arm. I'll show you with the kettlebell for this one. If you're using the kettlebells as well, just be careful if you've got a watch on. When it flips round, you don't want it smashing in the screen. I mean, most of them are like really glass, but just in case. Right, you ready? Let's go. Straight, straight line. It will bang the back of your wrist a little bit. And rest. If you find that you do a lot of work with kettlebells and you get in a sore wrist, you can buy wrist straps or purposely made kettlebell wrist supports. You know, counts against the knocking, especially if you're using like a heavier kettlebell. 10 seconds. Last round, left hand side. Grab the kettlebell dumbbell. And let's go. You might be able to tell I'm not incredibly ambidextrous. So it's not as smooth a motion with my left hand. It doesn't feel as smooth anymore. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Right. Got 
couple of minutes break now in between now the next exercise because the next exercise is tap turn so if you haven't done the tap turn with me before i like to do four moves i like to do each move twice in a pattern of a b c d a b c d um, tap turn is 20 seconds on 20 seconds of activity 10 seconds of rest eight rounds four minutes of total i play some tap turn music we listen for the countdown and there we go so first move we've got is a push press twist so you're going to have your dumbbells or kettlebells up by your shoulders you're going to have a little bob in your knees and this is the push press bit but then you're going to twist twist your core it doesn't have to be like a massive twist you don't have to throw it out all the way to the other side just a little twist in the core try and keep your as you go as you're coming back up try and keep your sort of power bits aligned tucked in so nice straight back so you're going up because there's tendency to lean forward so just try and keep your back in the spine nice and straight so next one we got is a half burpee now you can do this with dumbbells if you want uh, or you can do it without so a half burpee down up and you're bringing that up down Now, I said my sevens are a little bit too light for the last exercise for a half burpee. They're quite heavy because of the style of the move. So, if you've only got one weight, you find that too heavy, just do it without. Our only chance. Right, I'm going to try and use the dumbbells, see how good my hip mobility is. Third move is a mountain climber. Again, I'm going to use the dumbbells. All I'm going to do is nice plank position. One leg up, one leg up. Again, no dumbbells required for that one if you don't want to use it for that one. And then finally, we've got Romanian deadlift to high pull. So you do need to dumbbells for this one. So this one's all about the hip hinge movement. Keep your shoulder blades back, your chest out. As you go down, soft bend in your knees. Your bum goes backwards as your shoulders going forwards. And then you're going to bring it up to a high pull. So nice and slow, lower, faster. Okay. So you'll feel the stretch as you're going down into that position. You'll feel a little stretch in the back of your hamstrings, that's how you know it's working. You can't feel the stretch in your hamstrings, you might have to straighten the knees a little bit. So you'll normally keep a soft bend in your knees. But if you're pretty flexible, I like to get to about here. So shoulder blades are still back, spine straight. I like to feel it. Pull up. Okay, you might, if your hamstrings are a little bit loose in the mind, mine quite tight. You might need to straighten your legs up a little bit. But as long as the hip hinge movement works, as long as the hip goes back. So it's not like a deadlift where you're squatting down. Right, hope I haven't confused you with all that. Okay, so we've got a push press twist, a half burpee. Uh, a mountain climber and an RDL to high pull. So we do each move twice. Now with the uh, half burpee, you can also use one dumbbell. You can go down, burpee, and bring it up. Half burpee, bring it up. I might do that one, I think. So, one more time. Push press to twist, half burpee, mountain climber, RDL to high pull. So everyone got that? So, I'm going to turn the volume up, I'm going to put the tap to music on, and we're going to get going. Oh, wait, we're squeaking. Right. Are you ready? So, dumbbells up, push press. Over the knees, twist. You don't have to do a big squat for this, right? It's just a little push press. Three, two, one, stop. Now you've got a 10 second rest period. I'm going to use the single dumbbell, and this is the half burpee. 
Just turning the amateur music off. Well done. Anyone kept up? Well done. Anyone didn't watch it back later? Keep doing it till you keep up. So, we're back to round time things now, right? So, next one we've got is we've got a Renegade Bro to a plank tuck. 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, three rounds. So, get yourself down in plank position. Now, the renegade row, just bring one arm up. Keep your shoulders, uh, keep your elbows tucked in as long as possible. And then you're just gonna hop. Okay, so one, two, hop. And that's 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, three rounds. Right. We've got 15 more seconds of rest, and we'll get straight into it. Remember, if you're using kettlebells, don't rest on your kettlebells. Put your hands on the ground, and then pick one up at a time, and then do the back tap, right? Kettlebells are too unstable. So, are you ready? Yeah, ready. Right, 
Mike, down we go. So I'm going to start my right arm. And let's go. Right arm, left arm, tap go. Right, left, tap go. Three, two, one. 30 seconds rest, and then we'll go again. We'll have another round. Now with these renegade rows, with an all press up, you normally keep your feet fairly close together. With the renegade rows, I find it you're more stable, feet are slightly further apart. So if I do this one from the side, see, see what I mean. Are you ready? Down we go. Ah, let's go. Right arm, left arm. Fifteen more seconds, halfway. Keep those elbows tucked in. One more rest period, one more round, alright? Well, that's it, we're nearly done. We'll do one out move at the end, just for good measure. Right, last round, let's go. Down again, and let's go. So we'll go straight into the ab move because we're out of 30 minutes now. Just going to do a butterfly sit up. You're going to have your heels together. Knees spread out a little bit, about 45 degree angle in your knees. You're going to keep the dumbbells to your chest. You're going to go down, sit up, and push them over here. Now, if you find this position too difficult because you've got bad hip mobility or it's just uncomfortable, put your heels flat. Keep the knees slightly wider than the hip width apart, and you can do it that way. So what we're going to do is 15 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Are you ready? Keep going until I say stop. Then back to your chest, knees in position. Two, one, down we go.
Right. Thank you very much, guys. Been a pleasure as always. Thank you for watching live. If you're watching again later, thank you. Um, don't forget to leave us your feedback. It's really important. We really appreciate it as well. I'm Darren I'm from Channel Malcolm Gym. Um, my Instagram handle is dpgd.p.g.fitness. You can leave me some feedback. You can leave Malcolm Gym some feedback. Then I upload this video to my YouTube channel as well. With the same name, DPG Fitness. Watch it again and again. Do it as many times as you like. Leave me feedback in the comments section, let me know whether you like it, just like what you do like, what you don't like, any feedback is good, alright? All appreciated. And I'll see you next week. Have a good weekend.